in Kotlin, there is something called lazy. What this pretty much does, it, it allows you to create a variable and allows you to make the body of the variable run only on the first time it is um, used. So um, for, for example, for this, you would use it for um, getting a list from a database or getting a list from a network and you only want to get that once when you get it. I'll show an example. Uh, I'll create list by lazy. And let's say we want to do a long toast, right? Uh, show toast on first click. We want to create a list of create a list. So when we, we run this variable, the first time it's going to run our toast and it's going to return list of our list. The second time it's going to skip the long toast and only give us this variable that's already initialized. And we're going to do it in, on this click listener. So create list, and we're just going to do val list, val second list. And we'll just do that. And we'll see if that worked. Now we have our click me, and every time we click it, it runs that show toast only first click. Now if you do the second time, it, 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 it won't show the toast. And that's by design. So what we have here is we pretty much have a variable we can use for a lot of different things. So say we have an array list. So we have our return. Can I do? So say we want an array list from a database. So we can do um, get um, data from DB, and then we can return the array list. But every time you get the array list, if, if the array list is populated, you want to only just return it. You don't want to get it from the database. And I know why you're where you're saying you could just put an if statement there or something like that, but this is Kotlin. We're trying to eliminate boilerplate code, and this definitely gets rid of all this if, null, then, whatever in Java. This is what I use it for for databases and uh, list views, recycler views, grids, everything. I used lazy specifically for that, I think that is the best purpose for that.